Let's break it down for you hour by hour. Temperatures by 6 o'clock at around 61 degrees. So some places starting out in the 50s this morning. And then upper 60s by 8. 10 a.m. temps at around 80 degrees. And then we are well on our way back into the mid to upper 80s later this afternoon. We'll notice this afternoon just a touch warmer than it was yesterday. But really the difference between 85 and 87 it's all warm and we're all flirting with that summer heat. Here's what I'm tracking for your Tuesday. It's a quiet start this morning and we could see some fog out there and even just a little on the refreshing side. But again, I'll take these refreshing mornings because I know it's just a matter of time before that summer heat will be baking us and the mornings are no longer refreshing. Sunshine this afternoon, warmer air moves in tomorrow and could we see some 90s by Thursday? Well, speaking of the air this morning, kind of looking over the lights of the city, Hard to see the sky this morning without the sunshine, but looking down over the twinkling lights of the city, see there's a bit of a haze down there. Well, that's exactly what can impact that air quality. When we have fog, it kind of traps any of those impurities down on Earth's surface. But once that fog begins to erode away, that will allow things to kind of move move about in the atmosphere like they naturally do. Temperatures right now right around 60 and even though there was a dense fog advisory for Jefferson County this morning, I drive through some fog prone areas. Didn't see any on my drive in. I'm not so fond of the dew points in the mid 50s to cause fog. This this dew point and air temperature need to be almost identical for real fog and dense fog to take shape. Uh, there could be a few patches, but I don't foresee any fog disrupting those delay are disrupting that morning commute and causing any delays. Temperature wise 50s in Coleman, 54 in Jasper, 56 in Pell City with 59 down in Clanton. We are seeing a dry start this morning and it's going to remain dry this afternoon. We see a few of the stratus clouds there in our satellite imagery. The closest rain is back to our west and this is all going to be scooting off to the north and to the east and I do expect things to remain pretty quiet for the next couple of days. Tomorrow we are talking to temperatures near 90 and by Thursday I think we'll be well at that mark. Now with the increase of clouds on Fridays that may prevent the warm up to around 90. However, there will be more humidity as we round out the week. So even though it will be 88, it will feel much warmer. And I'll mention just a small chance of rain in your weekend forecast and as we head towards Memorial Day next week. And that is a look at your storm track seven day forecast. Art.